Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product every day series. Today is a very fun and exciting video for me because it is being posted on my 28th birthday. So August 12th is my birthday and I figured it would be really fun to do a PR unboxing and product review in one because I got a really exciting PR box from a brand that I have not tried before. So this is the brand called What's Up Beauty. And I really love what this brand is doing. So they sent me their new Desert Monsoon collection. That's an eyeshadow palette with coordinating nail polishes. Isn't that such a fun idea? I am so excited to check these out. And they also sent me their brush collection. So I will of course have this product linked in the description down below. And of course I wanna thank What's Up Beauty for sending me these products for free. This is not a sponsored video. There's no affiliate link or anything like that. But of course I'm just so excited about this. So I wanna share my first impression, tutorial, review right now on my channel. So first let's get into the palette. Ooh, pretty packaging already. And this is talc-free, cruelty-free. Oh, very cool packaging. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. So much sparkle, shimmer, metallic foiled colors that are catching my eye immediately and some really great neutral shades. This looks beautiful. And I love that there's the big mirror there. So yay, I'm so excited. I love trying out sparkly and colorful eyeshadow palettes. And I just love trying out products from new brands. And I should let you know the retail on these. So it's not a very inexpensive brand. So the eyeshadow alone cost $41. And then you can get the entire brush set for $133. You can get the entire collection of nail polish for $76.50. And then you can buy the brushes individually and the nail polishes individually as well. The nail polishes are $12.75. And the brushes range from about $20 to $23. But what I also think is really cool is you can actually buy the entire collection, which is what they sent me for $250.50, but it does look like it's on sale right now. So you can get it for an even better deal than that. So if you need some really beautiful nail polishes, brushes, and an eyeshadow palette, sounds like a great collection to try. Next, let's see the nail polishes. All right, so there are six nail polishes. Cute packaging on these as well. They are 12 free formula, vegan and cruelty free, made in the USA. And so this one here oh, is so beautiful. I love this purple. It's called Succulent and it's got glitter in it. It's just such a gorgeous, bright purple. Wow. There is also the Joshua Tree shade, kind of like a light brown. This one doesn't have sparkle in it. Then there is Tempest. Oh, I love this beautiful pinky purple tone. Oh my gosh, this one is called Desert Rose, and this one has glitter in it. Kind of looks like maybe like a gold or a silver glitter in this gorgeous baby pink. Ooh, this one is cool. It's kind of like a golden green, very pretty. And this is called Sun. And the sixth shade, this beautiful sparkly blue, is called Downpour. I am seriously loving every single shade. Let's see if I can show you all of them at once. Like I love every single one of these colors. It's all so different, different vibes from each color, but every single one is so beautiful. I'm so excited to try these out. 
Maybe I'll wear all of them, do a little multicolor look with my nails. And then the six brush collection here, which I will definitely use these to try out the eyeshadow palette. Ooh, these come packaged very nicely. Oh, and of course I love the hot pink color. Oh, wow. Very soft, very nice. So this first one is a flat shader brush. Then there is also a tapered blending brush. There is a fluffy blending brush, a regular blending brush, so a little bit smaller than the fluffy one I just showed. This one is a crease blending brush. This just is showing me how much I don't know about brushes because I just pulled out four different blending brushes, which I probably will just end up using interchangeably, even the flat one <laughs> as well. Like I just use any of these in my crease. Like I gotta probably get better at brushes and using specific shaped brushes for different types of blending. And then this one is a pencil brush. But I do feel like I got every type of brush that I need for the eye looks that I like to do. So this one, a little small one that I like to use on that lower lash line. So a very adorable brush collection, very soft. So now moving on to the eyeshadow palette and trying it out. And before I start applying this to my eyes, I am going to do some swatches, some beautiful shades here that I just cannot resist swatching. Of course, I have to get the light shimmery shade, which Oh my gosh, looks so pigmented. Oh, this metallic pink, whoa. Let's pick up um, this purple glitter. <sighs> Gotta pick up some matte shades too, but I'm just so drawn to these shimmers. Oh, but that matte is so pigmented and has a beautiful texture. Um, let's do this green as well. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. So bright, reflective, pigmented, shimmery. Wow. Oh, these are so beautiful. Oh my gosh, like blowing me away with these swatches. Let's see how this matte is. Oh my gosh, this matte is beautiful. I love that shade, great pigment. Like these metallics and shimmers are amazing. Oh my goodness. Look at these swatches. I am so impressed. And so of course I have to test out this eyeshadow palette with and without an eyeshadow primer. So going in with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion all over one of my eyelids like I always do. Okay, and I'm so happy to see that there is a light matte shade in here to set that primer and set the lids. So I'm just gonna pick up the fluffy blending brush, the R104, and pick up this light matte shade called Dust Storm. A little bit of kickback there. And I am just lightly going to dust this all over the lid. Ooh, like this shade has some good pigment to it and I don't want to darken my eyelid. I just want to set that primer. So I'm just going in with a really light dusting because this actually shows up pretty nicely. Like I could use this as a casual daytime lid shade for a nice neutral beige. Oh, this brush feels so nice and it feels like such high quality on my eyelid and i'm just doing like a light blending and i can already tell this is a really good brush and let's see if i can clean it off in my brush cleaner here because i want to use this fluffy brush to oh yeah it did clean it off to blend out a transition shade and there is a perfect transition brown shade here. This is called Joshua Tree, which 
the nail polish called Joshua Tree. You can see it matches so well. I love that they made nail polishes to match the eyeshadows. I just have never seen a company do that before and I think it is so cute. All right, oh my gosh, this is just like the softest brush on my eyelid. And look at how this is blending. This has some good pigment to it. This would be a good crease shade as well. So I'm gonna also bring it right into that crease as well as up to the brow bone. Oh my gosh, I just forgot one of my first steps that I always do when I do my eyeshadow, which is to do the brow highlight first. And okay, so we're gonna jump back to the brow highlight. And of course I have to go in with this beautiful, bright, sparkly shimmer called Glow. Just picking it up with my finger. I'm gonna go right onto that brow bone. And this is just the most beautiful highlight shade. Like that is so intense. I love it. So glam. Wow. And I know this is gonna look great in that inner corner because it is so bright. Oh my gosh. That highlight looks amazing. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of that Joshua Tree light brown to blend into that crease and transition area. This is such a pretty color. It shows up a little bit more of like a mauve and a little bit darker on the eye, but it is just the most beautiful transition crease shade. Like look at what that did to the eye. It created such a beautiful contour and dimension. I love this shade in the crease. And I'm actually probably gonna skip the crease shade because this is gonna be my transition and crease shade because I'm just so obsessed with how this is contouring the eye that I just need to leave this as my crease and transition shade. It's just perfect and so easy to blend out. So pigmented, wow. All right, so I'm doing a birthday eyeshadow look. So I feel like of course I need to do pinks and purples because those are just my favorites. And they look so beautiful. Okay, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna do three shimmer shades on the lid. I, I can't even resist. Okay, so first I'm gonna pick up the shade Succulent, which is this nail polish shade that I was already loving and so excited about, but to also have it in an eyeshadow is just so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this looks even more amazing on the lid than I was expecting. It's like neon and it truly looks neon, like it's shining neon because it's so bright and reflective. Wow. You get so much pigment Boiled color, so easy to apply. Wow. Like I could just do this purple all over the lid with that crease shade and that would look perfect. Like that Joshua Tree crease shade brown that I have in my lid is just so amazing to me. I don't know how just a kind of plain matte brown eyeshadow is impressing me so much, but just doing, you know, this highlight shade with that crease shade and then any of the other colors pretty much all over the lid is going to look so perfect and fun. But of course I have to try and use as many colors as possible. Next, I'm gonna pick up this one called Humidity, which is kind of like a purpley pink. And just using my finger again, oh my gosh, putting this in the center of the lid and it is absolutely gorgeous. This shade is so beautiful. It's sparkly, metallic, full pigment. 
I love this eyeshadow look so much already. The purple, the pink, all the sparkle, it is just so me. And of course, finishing off the lid with Desert Rose, the beautiful baby pink sparkle, which is also this nail polish here. Oh my goodness, I love all of these colors. Whoa, that is so pigmented and so bright. It has that little, it's like silver and gold, almost like duochrome, metallic hue kind of sheen to it, which is just amazing. Oh my gosh. This pink purple sparkly ombre lid is making me so happy. And just so easy to blend it all together and it looks perfect with that crease shade and that highlight shade. Oh my gosh. And so this is the eye with the primer. This is the eye without the primer and there is no difference. They both look so pigmented, bright, sparkly. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. And now I'm picking up the pencil brush and I just have to go in with this beautiful pink matte called Tempest, which I also have in the nail polish. I'm so excited to try out all those nail polishes as well because I already love all of these as eyeshadows. And let's blend this along that lower lash line and holy moly, this is pigmented. Oh, definitely a shade that I want to incorporate on the lid in a future eyeshadow look, but I just had to add even more pink and I love it. I love how this pulls the eyeshadow look together, adds even more pink. It's kind of like a, I'm turning 28, but this is kind of like fairy princess eyeshadow <laughs> and makeup look, but I don't think I'm ever going to outgrow that taste in makeup and colors. Like I'm always going to love pink and purple and sparkly. Oh my goodness. I love this. I love this eyeshadow palette. I love this eyeshadow look. I love all these products. These brushes are incredible. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Like, look at my finished eyeshadow look. Isn't it so pretty? What's up beauty truly sent me such an awesome birthday gift. I am so happy with this collection. It impressed me so much. And so if you have tried out any of the What's Up Beauty products, I would love to hear your thoughts on them in the comments down below. And let me know which of these colors are your favorites. Which of these nail polishes should I wear first? Should I wear them all together? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.